me again. Uh, it actually goes through a farm uh, buildings. Uh, so obviously please be careful with people working and the machinery about. Um, and then, well, I'll let it speak for itself. We'll go through the farm and then you can have a look for yourselves. Uh, I, I absolutely love this lake and it's got a really special treat right at the end. And no, it's not a pie this time. closed off in the 70s by the farm and let a fight get it reopened but obviously this bit here is concrete so you're not going to have any problem with traction but it is steeper than it looks on the video you come out into this uh, really nice uh, Field systems. A bit wetter than what I thought it was going to be up here. Give a chance to get a feel for these anarchies in the uh, wet mud. Definitely noisier on the road, these anarchies. I'm still haven't ridden it enough to work out what I really think. On the grass they don't seem too bad. Well, would I say that they're slightly better than the torrents on the grass? Probably. And the torrents on the mud, well they're not a mud tyre so they were next to useless. Um, but they, they feel quite good on this gravel. So yeah, it's going to take me a few more miles before I work out what I prefer. I think definitely it will be torrents actually on tarmac. The hedgerows are lovely at the moment. There is a use, yeah, it goes across that field, but it's uh, long lost. I think that would just cost too much of money and time to ever get that one reopened. Just count our blessings that we've still got this one. If you want to go for a, a nice little walk through the woods there, there's the uh, remains of a chapel in there. There's only really one end wall, a couple of gravestones and an altar. I think it's quite popular with people who follow alternative beliefs. Sometimes get Wiccan symbols and pagan symbols left there. If I felt more energetic, I would uh, take you down there. But it's been work going on. This used to puddle up quite a bit down here. And uh, what they've done, they've done some drainage. I'm going to uh, take a photo of this um, to put that information on Trailwise. Because this did used to get, yeah, very damp and wet here. But what was strange, there was a, there was a gate leading to the chapel that was put here. Ah, there it is. I missed it in the undergrowth. Yeah, so that's the gate you want to take. And uh, it's got a little uh, little map here. And there we are, Chapel Coppice. Uh, so that's where the remains of the chapel is. But uh, no, that's, that's great that they've uh, 
they've done this work here and it saves it getting uh, or deteriorating and eroding even more Really pleased to see that. on it this was getting quite washed out along here so that this is now a much easier ride ah looks like they're planting they planted trees in there they used to have cows in that field but it looks like they've planted trees Yeah, it's certainly changed quite a bit of here. Just have to get a bit of speed up for this bit. I don't like going fast, but um, if you've ever ridden a motorcycle off road, you understand that uh, certain areas you actually need some balance, and to achieve that balance, you need a little bit of a little bit of speed. That's what keeps you upright. really been dressed got to be watch out a lot of flint in here typical of Dorset there's a lot of flint but if you start spinning your tires and they're not some um, they're like these which are sort of like 80 20s you'll soon just tear them to shreds and also you run the risk of a puncture right so I think here for me it's going to be one of those photo opportunities again Taking pictures of the car here many times. It's just a great if you come here in the evening you get the sunset over there as well and it just adds to the magic of it. But I absolutely love this lane. still got my uh, wobbly bits on the tyre must have done um, a couple of hundred miles on them it's poison Uh, stones flicking through your tyres and it sounds as though it's a pop. Not a sound you like to hear that. Put the momentum up here.
but I'm not going to turn the camera off here because the real magic of this lane is when we get to the end of this road. I hope the battery don't run out. This is the magical bit. Isn't that stunning? So that's Portland in the distance. That's the Chesil Bank, which is the bank of stone and shingle that extends along the Jurassic Coast. And there's the sea. It's just um, bit of a wow factor when you go over that brow and you see that it's um yeah it's lovely and that's why i like that lane i think so much it's got a, a lot of things going for it right and what's going to make my day is if there's an ice cream van 